Mmm, look what came through the mail. I've now got a big motor on the front of my bike. This was cheap. To all the other people out there that are thinking about making an e-bike, you might think, maybe I should spend some money, do it properly, really get the best of the best. I went for the cheapest, dirtiest one I could find. This was 150 quid on eBay, plus a few quid for delivery. And I've just come in here to make sure it fitted. I was slightly alarmed when it first turned up. It's come with um, a very large bolt uh, as a mount here, um, like old fashioned bikes used to have. This had a, a bog standard quick release, obviously. Not a 20 mil bolt through axle like you get on better bikes, but it's come with this here and I wondered, ah, oh, is that going to fit? But it does, it's got flat on the side as you can see there which uh, fit between the, the gaps in the fork as in that that gap is designed for this the very small diameter of um, uh, the quick release uh, is not the same diameter as this part of the forks here I didn't really look that closely ever in the past so it's fine it fits and it comes with some very meaty these are 21 mil nuts uh, and a couple of washers essentially to sort of space it and lock it in just there so I've just very quickly fitted it on this particular one and it came with a big surprise this one I didn't know this I don't think it said it in the listing but look at that disc mounts which is handy because this bike has got albeit extremely shit uh, mechanical disc brakes they work fine to be honest on this bike um, so that's very helpful I'll be fitting that puny little minimum size what's the minimum size for disc brakes help me out is it 150 mil I can't remember it's got those um, I'm sure that these puny uh, and mechanical disc brakes will be more than up to the task of stopping uh, what 30 kilos of bike plus 70 kilos of me at 30 miles an hour. Hmm. Anyway, this is the rest of the package that arrived. And I forget now what it comes with. Let's take this over to the bench and have a look. The kit has come with this uh, plastic bag, uh, pouch. I'm not sure what's supposed to go in there. Maybe it's the motor controller, or maybe just my wallet. Anyway, that's good. It's come with this instruction manual and some cable ties and some wiring. Oh no, that's just, okay fine, that's just some um, cable sort of protection sheathing. That's good, that'll be handy for when I ride through rocks and sandpaper. Put that to one side. Testing, yeah, lots of instructions, I may or may not read those. User manual, that might be helpful, or it might not. I bet it'll be read, written in best English for that as well. What's in here, I guess this is the motor controller. Bar grips. I had no idea it came with them. That's awesome. Okay, so we've got some brake levers, and I believe these ones, uh, lots of these do, I believe, uh, they're set so, so that when you pull them on, it disengages the motor so that you, um, you can stop your runaway train from smashing you into a wall at 30 miles an hour when it fails, because it will do. It's really cheap. There's the motor controller. Mo controller for brushless motor, 48 volt. Max current is 26 amps. I've got no idea what my maximum uh, discharge amperage will be. Um, of course, I know the capacity generally of the pack, what it will end up as. I'll be able to find that out. I haven't built it yet, but I will be able to find that out. But that doesn't tell me what the uh, maximum sort of single moment current will be. Uh, obviously it's a number that's a lot higher, but how much higher I don't know. Will I fry things? I don't know. Will I fry the battery pack? Quite possibly. Uh, the batteries, of course, the cells are out of laptop packs. They're not designed for high discharge, not, for example, like a, a vaping 18650 is. Um, none of these are designed for that, so how much they'll sustain? I have no idea. Will it be a big fire? Yes, possibly. Guess I'll find out. Don't know what that's for. Maybe it goes near the cranks? I'm not sure. Have to find out in a bit. This is all connected together, so it's a bit messy at the moment. I don't know what's in there. Let's have a look. Oh wow, this is my speed controller. Look at this. 
thumb control. Oh good, it's essentially a dead man switch. It's sprung, spring loaded so when I come off the bike for other reasons, the motor will stop the bike careering down the road. That's nice. Empty, half, full. I may end up buying a proper sort of computer um, if I can, I don't even know if I can get one that will work with everything I've bought, no idea. But if I can get a better computer, I've seen them around online, that will give me um, some better control and information about what's happening than I will. Um, I think that's everything really that's in here. Uh, a small disc, I guess that goes with this, not sure how or why or where, I guess I'll find that out. That's magnetic, oh I see, okay. So that'll be picking up something from the uh, rotation of the cranks then. And that's a thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, that piece of yellow thing. That's good. Yeah, so that is the, the entire really awful unboxing of what I've been given in this crap pack. So, I'm quite happy with it. It was uh, super duper cheap. Uh, I'll try and put it together maybe today, maybe another day. But my next step, to be honest, is to make, make the battery up. I've got some... Um, I've got some... Uh, soldering equipment on the way to replace my crappy soldering iron, I've got a better one. I'm going to be using copper strips, um, copper wiring I should say, uh, between the cells to make that pack up. Um, and I'm getting there with it, it's really slow because I've got I've got a life, I do other things, unfortunately I work and all that, and pay a mortgage, so I have to not spend all of my waking hours on the bike as much as I would like to. Anyway, quickly showing you what I've got. Wait, 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 before you go I know what you want. You want to see a complete stranger fit the disc to this wheel. Fine, no problem. You can do that. That's a satisfying noise, isn't it? You ever had that before? Only when fastening nuts and bolts, and they make that brilliant little cracking noise. Feels great. That's a successful bolt remover when you hear that noise. Much better than rusty ones. Right, let's go and get the new disc. These are the bolts from the uh, disc on the original wheel. They're uh, a millimetre larger in terms of their hex key size. I'm wondering if they'll also fit in this because I think they're nicer bolts. Still got some thread lock on them as well, which is good. I'll try and reuse those. Here's my disc. And look at that. 160. I wonder if that means millimetres diameter. I think it does. Guess I was wrong earlier with 150. Let's see if this fits. So look, these screws fit, which is excellent. I'd rather use these. They've got thread lock on them and they're bigger, meatier screws. And uh, for the most part, I hate hex screws. Bikes are full of them, unfortunately, because uh, they've got a tendency to round. I normally work on cars, and uh, I don't really like hex things. Internal hex, I mean, like Allen keys. It's got a tendency to round. Crunchy. This one doesn't feel so good. I'm hoping that's the uh, thread lock as opposed to cross threading. Which is worse, to confirm. I'm very happy this thing uh, accidentally came with the disc mount. Extremely happy about that. I do have, I was going to use, uh, a single Magura HS33. Yep, back to the old school. Hands up if you remember that from the 90s. But I've got one of them kicking around from the 90s that I haven't used in years. Um, that I was going to have to use with this on the rim because I didn't think I was going to be able to use the existing um, crap disc brake, this mechanical disc brake. Um, but it does work quite well, I'm being a little unfair on it. But because this has come with a dismount, I can use it, and I'm very happy about that. Now you'll notice what I've just done wrong, I've been tightening in sequence, which is bad, you should really go opposites like that, like with a car wheel, but that's fine. And don't go OTT with these, otherwise you'll never get them out again. I think that's pretty good now. You'll notice I'm still going round in a radial pattern, even after telling you not to, and telling myself not to. I'm still doing it. Strange, isn't it? Oh well. Great. That's good. 
So now I'm going to go sit, fit it on the bike and see if it um, works. I might need to use um, some sort of spacers, these existing spacers here, and possibly on the actual uh, caliper as well to fine tune it so it doesn't rub on the uh, on the caliper. So that's fitted on there quite nicely. There is a small amount of rub. I'll show you in a moment. get that nipped up just for now that'll do so yeah a little bit of rubbing so I'm going to choose not to play with the spacing of the hub but I will be ever so slightly playing with the spacing here using some very thin washers just to move that out slightly and I might it's possible I can adjust the pads uh, here and here um, but on these cheap mechanical ones I don't know how well that'll be able to work so either way uh, I'll be able to make that work but that's it mounted pretty good pretty good